Hello, 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 and welcome to the live stream. You are still here, thank you very much. And we didn't start, you didn't start the mutiny? I mean, at this point it would be fair if you did. Let me, let me put on some music, just so we can get things going. <laughs> I, I, I swear, I, I just turned off the computer at 9, Well, I usually I do the streams at half past 8 Amsterdam time. And I just turned off the computer and I'm like, ah, oh, let me go out, sit on the couch, relax. And then I saw the message from Mr. Kim. Ay, 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 ay. All right. Well, good that everybody's here. We can uh, we can get sketching. So I had uh, I had two ideas for tonight's stream. Uh, one being uh, you guys tell me what to draw and I draw it, or the other sort of combination of that. But I was drawing these mini things. I have a couple of mini things here, like a, a, a small APC, a small light vehicle carrying, what is it, light, Mil military light carrying vehicle, something like that, I'm not sure about it right now, and also just a the person there unpacking some sort of things. Yeah, Robert's Micro Machines, I like the name of that. So we can work on this, or uh, you guys can Give me some other prompts as well. It's it's been a I am sorry. It's been a while since we did a couple of prompt drawings. So let's see what uh, what's happening. While everybody is uh, coming up with ideas, I will try and do some more military stuff. Just because I like these. Let me see. I'll bring it here. All right. Draw a Pacific Drive survival station wagon. I have not played the game and I don't know what it looks like. It's it's a station. You want me to draw a station wagon? I can I can draw a station wagon. I don't know how satisfying this is going to be for you. Me. Too loud. I'm so sorry. Let me bring it down a bit. Should be better now. Yeah, because my mic is, I, I don't know why my mic is a little bit lower. So it could be that the background music is overpowering it a little bit. So tell me if it's it's not there yet. We will try and, uh, and adjust. Half the screen. Uh, is it going to be part of you, Newton and YT? But yes, 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 yes. A new house or tent? More like a tent, yes. <laughs> uh, draw that gigantic wheels machine that they built during the 1950s to traverse the des desert or something, but do it in a micro machine version. Uh, gigantic wheel machine to traverse the desert are we sure about this are we sure about this kim <laughs> i'm not sure uh, th this is the correct i mean this looks just like a digger like a big digger i don't think this is it How about uh, just gigantic wheel to traverse desert? 
Land train lato mo. Let me let me just copy paste this as it is without the question mark, of course. Lato mo. Oh, I have not heard of this. This looks cool. All right. You have uh, convinced me to draw this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, okay, interesting. So... Let me just make a new sketch somewhere here. Okay, so basically what I see here as we have something like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we sort of have a cockpit that goes a little bit up like that. There we go. Cockpit goes something like this. And then here on the bottom we have something like this uh, THR Russian shirt perfectly fits the micro machines wow there's a lot of lot of these things going on uh, let, let me just let me just write these down and Alaska land train Alaska land train is just a long ass truck right I mean, a, a truck with a... Oh, no, this is the Alaska Land Train. Okay. Look at that. All right. All right. So, trying to see what's going on here. We have a couple of, looks like, win winches? Win winches? And then we have, seems like two cubes on both sides. One here and one there. And then this is a little bit, this has a bit of a chamfer here. Something like that. And I missed, I missed that break. But it's okay, we'll take the next one. We'll take the next one. One wheel, two wheel. One wheel, two wheel. All right. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Make our lives easier. Rugai, I've been to the part that still exists. It's at White Horse Transportation Museum in Alaska. Cool. That is crazy that they came up with this. Maybe it could be even a bit longer. It feels now like it could be slightly longer. Was it? How, do you know anything about it, uh, Ru? How long was it used? What was it used for? It's pretty, pretty crazy. I'm not sure if I want to make this a micro machine, like a micro drawing. It's just very cool. So this looks like this is the entrance here. So maybe if I do something like this and make just a bit more space there. Yeah, I 
think that is working. Uh, at one point they had the idea to add a nuclear reactor to the train. Luckily they <laughs> never did. Is it, is it luckily though, like imagine if it would have worked out and, and technology would uh, like, ah, we had these, uh, what is it? Nuclear reactor car concept. We had these really cool concepts in the past, right? Yeah, this one. I mean, imagine we would be driving around with this right now. Look how cool this is. You don't want to drive in this? A little bit of nuclear radiation? Did it ever hurt anybody? I don't think there's any proof that nuclear radiation is, is bad for people. It's, it's just, it's just the left liberal media going crazy and telling you those things. These are mostly research projects. They were never practically. Ah, I see. First step to mortal engines. Man, as long as it doesn't end in a disaster that, that the movie was, uh, I don't mind those first steps. Let's just not make it as bad as the movie was, please. Okay, so we are starting with a cabin, right? And the cabin is split into three. And let's also give it this nice little thing there. We can take away this line. And now we have these lines that go, actually, you know what we can do? Let me, let me, let me help you out. Save image as, pa -pa 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 -pa. I think in the videos I should have an example image. No. Where is this example image? Give me one second, guys, because I want to pop this example image. Rizok. No, they're not using it from there. Let's see. I'll just save it to uh, videos. Save. And now if I press here and there. Do a little bit of piff puff work in videos. Where are you now? Hmm. Oh, it's there. Got it. Bam. And now you can see it too. Let me enlarge it a little bit. So this is this is what we're drawing. So people who just join a little bit later, that they know what we what we are going on about. Uh, hot take. I liked the movie, but didn't pretend to be more than a B movie and fully delivered. I, I love the premise of the movie and the world building. And I was really hoping for, for like, oh, wow, this is so cool. Where are you taking this? And then the, the whole thing just, just fizzled out like a sad little wet fart. It's, it was just not pleasant at all. I was very, very sad and disappointed for the whole thing. Okay. Let's use that shift click very generously. It's not a good. It's not a oh. open image in your tab. I'm trying to see if I can get a different angle of this. Oh, there's also 3D models. Nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Guess we'll have to stick with this angle. Uh, wet farts are never pleasant. <laughs> no, that's 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 the whole point, right? I was expecting something more pleasant than that. Hey, Mr. Ducci, welcome to the stream, my man. Welcome to the stream. 
where we are drawing an Alaskan land train that I did not know existed before. But we are drawing the Alaskan land train in a very micro machine sort of way. And we're trying to not mess, mess up perspective and proportions at the same time. Which apparently is hard to do. So we have the main body, which could use a little, like just a hint of that chamfer on this side as well. I feel we would do a lot with that, all right? And now I'm just gonna make a new layer because I want to do these two boxes that we have here. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Watching somebody draw is the perfect activity while being tired. <laughs> yeah, just, just lean back and slowly doze off. It's, uh, it's all about that relaxing Thursday evening. It's Friday tomorrow, you know? I mean, is, 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 are there many better days than Friday? Not really. To be, to be fair, there's only six days. That, that counts so like I guess I'm not sure if it's if it's fair to look for better days but hey master Bissimi, yeah yeah let's 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 not talk bullshit let's let's leave that for a, a later time in the day how about that? Erase the line there. Now we can merge these down. Okay. There we go. Ruga is, Ruga is eating jelly beans. Mmm, I like jelly beans. Sugar high soon for Ru. sure this is not that narrow but uh, for drawing purposes should be enough for now uh, Kim wouldn't be the first time that I dozed up doing one of your live streams but please take that as a compliment oh yeah sure I will take that as a compliment uh, these streams are so exciting that uh, you just doze off <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Not, uh, not the best compliment, my friend. <laughs> uh, who here never had jelly beans? I think everybody had jelly beans at one point or another. Sim, good morning from the shield. Welcome from the shield. Uh, I I started my day with Sam and ending it with him, and uh, Sam ended his previous day with me, and starting his Friday with me. Very, very nice. Batavirin. What's that? Bata, Batafiren? Did I say that? No, no, Matsuro said that. 
No more jelly beans for my jelly belly. Have to start training for the butter feed. I have no idea what that is. Jelly days from Nijmegen to Enschede. Okay. Somebody wants to uh, get in form or be in form. We just had a big carrot cake this weekend. So and today we finished the last pieces. So yeah, I'm not gonna do any sort of relay races. Imagine you're gonna start a row in 300 Jelly Belly this part. <laughs> I don't wanna do that. Let's stretch. Oh. <sighs> Sam needs to get in shape too. It has been over a year since been at the gym. Well, you have a you have a dog, don't you? Why don't you just go for nice long runs with uh, Mr. Poppy Man? I, I find. Because we've been mo moving a bit more, well not moving more, but going for longer walks. Because here at my, Jesus, everything is empty now. Here at my girlfriend's we have a silly dog. And that needs a bit more walking about. So we do relatively nice and long walks. I'm not the biggest fan of this weed at all, guys, come on. What's going on? Why is this wheel not cooperating? Single life is where you should be training. That can be not so big rig. Well, what is more important, keeping your, uh, your big rig persona or getting into tip top shape? That's something that you have to decide for yourself. Uh, you seem to have a pretty good spot to work stream there. Uh, it's actually a sere. It's the, the sere of the house, which is, I feel fancy saying that word because I, I, I didn't hear about this word before <laughs> I met my girlfriend's mom. Uh, but other than it's, it's a bit cold in the morning and during the day there's a bit of, um, what is it, glamour? No. Bright, bright because of the brightness the screens are not that visible other than that it is quite nice and if you guys have seen my latest video oh this i just i'm not a fan of this wheel let's completely undo it um, the background is actually a nice garden with flowers and bushes and whatnot so it's really a nice mentally calming place to work, I must say. So I cannot, there's, there's nothing to complain about. I'm here for at least two, two and a half more months. And then uh, we'll head over to the, to the new house, hopefully. I, I, I'm thinking, or I'm, I'm, I'm figuring here, that if I make one wheel nicely, I can repurpose this one for all the other wheels. So if you're wondering why I'm fiddling so much with this one, that, that is the purpose, because I want to be able to reuse this as the rest of the wheels, which might not work in the end. But let's see. Yeah, this is why all the glasses here, exactly. Interesting that you're back at the girlfriend. Oh, yeah. That's, I, I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna hear this. Like, I'm gonna hear this, yeah. Shit. 
I did not. Well, she was back then, she was the girlfriend. Now she's the wife. But yeah, back then she was the girlfriend. New house diorama. Once, once maybe, once we're there, but not until then. Once we're there, we might try. Okay, so let's squish this Ooh, a little bit like this and rotate it and make it slightly smaller. Almost. It should be somewhere here, right? So this would be one wheel and then make it a little bit smaller. Put it there. This would be our other wheel. Not fully correct, but for the purpose of our illustration, uh, this should be enough for now. Uh, Sam. Well, I will still be a big, big rig, just not jelly belly big rig. <laughs> Wheels for the shit. Wheels for the shit. Wings for the shit. Wings for the shit. Wings for the shit. Oh yeah, wings for the shit. Okay, so we need these rotund things that are there in the front. Which I'm just gonna place them into a cube first for simplicity's sake. A smaller one here all right which means ellipse here okay and then we have sort of let me turn off the lines there they're a bit annoying but then we had one two and then this reaches out a little bit like that. There we go. That, that, that looks like a pretty okay mechanism. Nice and pixelated because we're drawing tiny again. This is good advice corner. Whenever you're working for a client, make sure that you work as small as possible. Like you want to work on those pixels. That's very important. You do not want to give the client uh, high resolution, high quality work. Nobody does that. that. That just shows how unprofessional you are. There we go. Now we can erase this part. We can merge this down. All right. You've got to be shabby. <laughs> I want to get shedded. Uh, do you think that the design of older cars were much more rounded because it had to be done manually and so it didn't really matter? And now with machines, we make everything boxy. Well, it's 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 sort of sort of a cycle, isn't it? Because just on our walk today, we saw an Audi, like an older uh, Audi, and it pretty much had the, the big lights and then the four things but it was quite squarish so it was this very 80s 70s I don't know what to call, call it it, it had that, that rally look to it and nowadays with all the cars uh, it's actually, if, if you look at the cars, they're less boxy. I mean, I, I know what you mean, because before this, of course, we had, we had the Volkswagen Beetle type cars and these things. But then if you go back again, even further than that, if you go back to the Ford Model T, like that was again, as boxy as it gets, right? So we go to, from boxy to rounded to boxy, and now I feel like everything is is relatively rounded again. Like it, it's it's at least smooth smooth down. So the only thing that I, I I notice is now because of all the safety features, 
you will not get your uh, very nice and small uh, hatchbacks or, or, or um, Mini Coopers and those cars because you have so much safety and electronics in your cars that sadly most of the cars just look alike at least to me okay let's see if we can cheat our way with this wheel as well i just feel i would like to make it just a little bit more rounded i think that already works a little bit yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Well, almost, almost fine with that. I'm gonna just chisel a little bit of gently, gently. And then also just adjust these lines a little bit. Uh, the multi was made with parts from wood. I did not know that, but makes sense for those days. <laughs> Have you seen the Renault 5 EV? Around blobby messy beauty. I think I've seen it right now, it just didn't pop in. Renault 5 EV. It's, it's not so, it's not so rounded. They are going for the 205 with this, I can see that. I mean, just to show people. So if you uh, 205, not the, yeah here this one the the rally version. So like I can see them trying to channel that a bit, but you can see how much more compact this looks compared to the to the modern version, which is just bigger. Of course, EV it has to have space for the for the batteries. But still, um, unrelated, but there's a beetle at my grandma's house. It's so pretty, but destroyed. Pure glossy black. I imagine it's not glossy if it's destroyed. It's like more uh, dusty. <laughs> but yeah, beetles, beetles are nice. Beetle, old beetles are, are something special, I would say. Okay, now we can erase these lines as well. See, slow, slowly, slowly we're, we're getting closer to what we have there in the corner. Look at that. Okay, now we can strengthen some of our lines. Uh, we don't have Renaults in America anymore. Did you ever have Renaults in America? Other, other than the... Wow, that, that was a high-pitched tone, guys. <laughs> Did you ever have <laughs> Uh, but other than import, like when, when did you have Renault? I, I don't think you ever had. Like I feel like French cars are just not something that uh, penetrated the American market. Uh, the modern one doesn't make me puke. I mean, there is no modern one. Like even, even like I had good conversations with my uh, drawing instructor back in university that the Beetle, the, the modern Beetle that came out somewhere in the early 2000s, right? Wasn't really a Beetle because... So the first Beetle was the Volkswagen. And as uh, Mr. Matzelbob can bestätigen, that means the car of the people. So it, it was just a cheap car for everybody to be able to have a car. And nothing of that existed in the in the modern beetle so if if you if you want something that is a people's car and that has that sort of spirit you should look at the up the volkswagen up has that sort of spirit so this one so it's small it's it's it sort of serves the same purpose so this is this is the the modern version I would say of of a beetle. Uh, we had Renaults back in the seventies. I'm 
I worked on a few. Oh, well, okay. Color me. I color me. Come impressed. I, I did not think that uh, that that would be a thing. Um, the French never penetrated the U.S. market. No love for the settlers. <laughs> People's car to Lada. Yeah, okay, in the, in the Eastern Bloc, maybe. Uh, most cars around the Model T had wood framing. They ran wood framing under the metal body. For a long time, car builders were called coach builders. Well, they, they did come from the coaches, right? The, 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 the horse coaches, horse carriages. So that sort of makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, let me look at another... another other angles of this nice car. There we go. Car. Am I allowed to do call this a car? It's not really a car, is it? Hey, Kalyan, welcome. Just catching some so-called land trains that I didn't know about. Uh, the 90s Fave Beatles were Jettas with round sheet metal and plastic on it. <laughs> were Beatles still built in the 90s? I thought they, they discontinued in, in the 70s or something. Uh, Roducci, why modern cars have to look so boring when you see old cars? They have this look or personality the modern ones lack and look like they were all designed by the same. Well, uh, I agree as well, but that's also the point that I made before that all the all the safety things sort of force a little bit of creativity out of car design because you have to, you have to adhere to all the standards and that that just makes your whole design process not just process but also the ideas are way more limited with that uh, I'm sure that in 20 years some folks will think that turning cars look cool I am going to refer to Ru on this one because he he has the experience of having lived the longest out of all of us I also agree that I personally just like the old boxy cars much more. That just speaks to my sensibilities. I'm not the biggest fan of, of modern cars, but that is that is just me. There is there is some nice stuff now as well. Not everything is ugly. Like wait, uh, let me let me bring this up. I think generation, where can we see all the generations? There we go. I think these are sort of 2019. Fine, okay, okay, that's good. Let's copy this image, throw it in here. All right, let's, let's look at this. MK1, beautiful, chef's kiss. MK2, still quite nice starting to get a bit boring uh, okay modern and then this the fiver the fiver sort of is like almost like a pebble they they try to smooth and everything all the lies smoothen and then and then they're starting to bring some of the edges back into the the headlights as you can see and now we have all these super aggressive lines in cars like they're trying to make everything as aggressive as possible so we went from edgy, I don't know how aggressive, because the thing is, we sort of, whenever you put round lights on a car, uh, it, it looks a little bit old school. So we went away from, from these, but everything else was edgy to nice and smooth lines everywhere up until there. And then now we're trying to break everything up and make it like, oh, super aggressive, whatnot. So I, I do think it just, just, like, just like you have, uh, fashion it's cyclical like look at it like right now young people dress like i was dressing in in the nine, late 90s so hey <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I thought that 70s cars were ugly. Now I day I miss them. I thought the Mustang Fox bodies were crap. Now I'm, I own one. <laughs> uh, I have I, I had that with when I was growing up with music. For some reason there was a like 80s vibe like everybody was like oh yeah old music so good and I, I couldn't stand it i just like wanted hip-hop and, and and house and drum and bass and now i start to listen to more like old music i start to appreciate more and more old music and not even music that i grew up with like music before before my generations even or my generation even so yeah i i guess there's just a, a general appreciation of stuff as you grow older or oh this that look I feel that looks pretty okay I mean listen to this I'm also I'm mostly playing funk just because I enjoy funk quite a bit. Okay, this works. There we go. We're getting there, we're getting there. Um, Rodici, yeah, the DRZ for example is kind of sexy. All right, true. fair enough. I love the 1997. It is an icon that's like every new car ever. Uh, 7 to 8 is like, let's put all the industrial EV stuff into design-wise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm worried 70s clothes will come back. Ugh, you make drawing look so sexy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> all right. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if this is a door or not here, but I will make sort of a door out of it because, you know what? We followed the land truck until now, and from here on, it is going to be a uh, creative license. How about that? From here on, we're turning it into Robert Kiss, whatever the hell we want to do. Let's just add something extra here, and then let's fill this with a bit of darkness there we go and then here we have I'll bring down the opacity because somewhere here we have a box which does something and somebody knows what it does that somebody ain't me I want to show that it's not running all the way but it's running a little bit there push pirates off that door <laughs> we need a plank right uh, i need to draw a plank there okay what else do we have oh we have two things here that i did not notice before let me follow this line So I don't know what this is, but it is, one is here, and the other is a little bit further down. Let's make this a bit smaller to keep in perspective. Also, you might ask, like, why, why do I copy it halfway through and then I still draw some other stuff? Uh, Copying does speed up the progress a bit, but as I don't want it to be exactly the same, it's, it's nice to have some mistakes in there. So this would be one here. And then this would be the other one. Right now that we have those, there's a hatch here, so I can take this. 
Actually, this looks not bad. Just gonna put the hatch on top of it. Mm. Where is this hatch? Is it central? I don't have a top view, so it's a bit hard. Oh, it's, let's let's sort of call it not central, just because I like things just a little bit off to the side. And I'm gonna give it some ledges there, go around like that. Okay. Uh, oh wait, yeah, most of them I see now have some sort of radar antenna thing. Is it central? It seems to be central. So it seems to be something like this. Oh, quick, uh, quick stretching break. Luis M. Off topic, but Robert, what is your favorite dish? <laughs> it's like asking what's your favorite movie. That's a hard one. I mean, one of my favorites is sort of a fast food called Döner. It's a, a Turkish dish where they have the, the meat on the rotisserie in layers and then they cut it off and put it either into sort of a wrap or into breads. Uh, you might know something similar. I think shawarma is similar to that one, the, the Greek version. Uh, I think the uh, Jewish version is, no wait, the Greek version is not shawarma, the Jewish version is shawarma, I think. Anyways, it's, you probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that is, one of my favorite. Otherwise, I'm very much a potato person. Like, if you give me potato, I'm gonna be a very happy camper. No matter what sort of shape or form, just give me a bit of potato and you're gonna have a happy Robert on your hands. Um, mistakes, you have been listening to my radio show too much and are influenced by mistakes, I have so many. Nah, come on, you know, I, I liked funk. I feel like you, you, you stuck around my YouTube channel because you heard in the live streams that I'm playing funk. I bet that's the only, only reason you stayed around. Uh, yeah, sure, man, there you go. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I said. I mean, it's, it is it is Middle Eastern, right? Yeah, well, Turkish Middle East. I don't know. Does, does it count as? Yeah, maybe. But they have a lot of influences. So a lot of lot of these foods are somewhat similar. We also have many many Lebanese places where you have these sort of uh, Lebanese shawarma type foods. A little bit of this. This is a little trick that can throw a lot of on your drawing. If you add a little bit of shadow on your, so you, if you have legs like this, just add a bit of shadow down there, and it will make. It can make quite a big difference. Okay, and now I can erase. Oh, I can erase the lines here that I will not need. the lines here as well okay. bring up the opacity and we can unify these lines a little bit It's very, very common in the Middle East. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I know it's not, not a special food. For me, it's special because I, 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 we never had, like, something that we didn't have in Eastern Europe as all, at all is flatbread. So whenever I had dishes that had flatbread, like, those were very special and still are very special for me. 
so yeah, I, I know that that it's not a big deal, especially for <laughs> for the Middle East. But just flatbread for me was always like, oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> Can I have more of that? Uh, and we also have something in the back. It seems to be a small crane, isn't it? Yes, it is a small crane. Would be nice if I would have a higher res. Okay, let's see. I'll just put it on this side, even though on, on my thing is on the other side. Yeah, man, it's <laughs> it's like I, I was surprised when some people like when I when I visited Southeast Asia and Apple was or I don't want to say delicacy, but it was rare. And for me, Apple is just the most pedestrian fruit that you can find on every corner. It is just growing on trees. But then for them, that was mango. And mango I didn't have until I was older. Or speaking of uh, Middle East, uh, I remember the first time my dad introduced me to dates. And then uh, I, when, I, when I visited uh, in Saudi Arabia, they just had dates on the fr ground everywhere. Like it, it was some sort of dirt. It's like, yeah, it, it, it's, it's everywhere. So it's, it's, it's cool and interesting to see different uh, cultures and different regions having all these different foods as well. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Dates are nothing for you guys. I have no view from behind of this car. Would be great to see a, a back view to see this thing a bit better. I don't like I don't like that thing anymore, so I take it away because it looks a little bit like it's it should be something on the side i'll take this away now Forgive me this once, please. It's interesting because I don't see a rotating platform that this thing is on. And there, I feel like there should be a rotating platform because otherwise, what are you doing with, uh, with this crane? But okay. I guess we'll just leave it like this without the rotating platform. This, uh, this here needs a little bit of detailing. It's a bit too bare or too barren. Not bare at all. There we go. Maybe one here on the side as well. Okay, that already looks better. Now we need something on the sides.
and now I'm just gonna make up some details because we just want to have a bit of extra stuff here and there uh, if I was at home I'd send you pictures from when my son and I were there I would appreciate that but where are you right now are you uh, at, at work of course it's Thursday for some reason in my head it was weekend Let's do some, I don't want to call it exhaust ports, just some air filter, air ducty things here. I'm also curious, I don't think too, too much of this is going to be visible. Okay, this is 100%. This is it's a bit more zoomed out, but it's fine. Oh, let me... Clean up the wheels just a little bit. I mean, I, I don't mind it being a bit dirty, but if we can clean it up a bit, why not? Right? Let's make some sort of attachment mechanism almost here for this. You are at work school. Are you on break whenever you're watching me? Or are you just teaching and just typing on the side, not paying attention to your students? You're doing the, 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 Zoom, the Zoom meeting thing. Thank you, Kim. Oh, rest break, which means we've been here for an hour, which means I'm going to throw some quick color onto this and then, then we'll call it. I'm not going to take a rest break. I'm going to take a couple of seconds just to oh, stretch a little bit. And then we'll call it. Draw a stick, man? Sure. There we go. There's our stick man. Uh, all right. So what I do is just select on the outside and there and there and I made myself a little action that fills everything with the background color and I lock that layer and I just do a copy image paste I'm a bit lazy I don't feel like looking up all the colors so all I'm gonna do now is just fill it with orange and then what we can do is we say oh, okay all these are the top surfaces so obviously the top surfaces will be much brighter actually let me include this as well and then this as well there we go Which, I, I guess, if the sun is shining from here, it is going to be the brightest here and a little less bright there. And then we have some of that same color falling there. And here as well. Alright, then we take some of the darker oranges. Well, let me not take the super. This is, there's some reflectiveness there. Let's take this. Yeah, this is good. There we go. 
go I, I don't really care the, about the tires because I will go over the tires and it, give them a different color anyways there we go uh, Ru says I only have a morning class on Thursday so I get to watch you this, this semester oh nice I draw a cute anime girl <laughs> Uh, you're, you're never giving up, are you? Okay, I'm gonna do the tires separately. So if we call this color, I'll call this tires. That's the ref. This is lines. And then I'll just move the reference up here. Call it the ref. Okay, tires. Let's steal a bit of this. I don't want to go super saturated. Let's go gray. There we go. Um, people from the 50s got style. They do. They liked color more than people these days. Uh, Richie, make the top have more blue to feel the blue sky hue. Would love to see it contrast with this beautiful. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll do that in one second. Oh, wow. That's blue. That's, that's not gray at all. Okay, which I couldn't, like it's clearly blue there, but that's reflection. So I feel like this would still blue, but it's a better ref re representation of the wheels. Okay. Now we have this wheel as well. And we have the wheels here. Okay, and Rudici wanted a bit of blue in there, so I'm gonna just separately sky reflection, do a bit of that. Which I am actually curious, like it, it means if we have a bit of the sky in there, it means that it's more of a reflective material. And to be fair, this doesn't look that reflective to me, but it's always worth a try. Let's actually, since we have sky here, why not just take some of it? I want to have a little bit of extra sky blue on the edges. Sometimes it works, but not always, but yeah. Just a bit more. But now I have to play a lot with reflection. Now I will have to do some. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how far we go with this. It's there for the <laughs> Actually, I want to cut away. I just realized that I didn't do the shadow here. So, which means here we cut away from it. And here we fill it in with the. Ooh. There we go. windows I am semi debating a little bit if I should do the window separately just because eh, why not and we can take it from here as well let's take a more dark area something like this okay I feel like I just need a bit more reflection in those windows. 
for now that is good but I'm not quite happy with them Green is bringing a little bit of of shine, not shine, because of course the wheels they don't have shine, but just we have a bit more of that sun hitting there, of course, that Reducci likes so much. Mm, doesn't look so good now, does it? Let me let me go back to my good old tried and trusted selection and soft brush i don't know why i wanted to abandon my good old there we go that immediately works better and then what we can do i can come back to my sketching brush and just etch out a couple of these and then we're immediately better off than we were before there we go i wanted to paint around too much there we go back to our airbrush then just gently touch it here and there and now the same for, well, technically, if I want to be correct, I could cut away a little bit here because, of course, the car throws a bit of shadow on it. <sighs> Let's take that micro break. End of the day for Rue, it was fun. Thank you for sticking with us, Rue. I might also not finish this on the stream because uh, it is end of the day for me as well. And I'm one of the last people standing. But uh, I blame Reducci for giving me extra work now but I'll probably not finish that one up right now there's some work to be done there but I think for, oh what, one thing that I just like to add doesn't do it's, it's not that it's not necessarily correct but I like doing it nonetheless Let's move this here. Oh, this shows you my wheels are not the most correct is there. But all right, okay. <laughs> I just want to create a bit of shadow here. Like sort of a cheating shadow, doesn't need to be a, an actual working shadow. This industrial design shadow, I call this. Just need to zoom out a bit more. It's really just a, a flat projection of a box. And I like to go over it a little bit. 
Let's fill it in. And just gives, just makes the whole thing pop a little bit more because you have, oh, I just noticed something. This was supposed to be cut out area. There we go. And now I can do my shading. Once again, especially here at the wheels, you can see that it's not correct and I have issues there, but it's, it's fine. Shedding, I was shedding. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, thank you very much for joining this live stream. It's not quite finished, but I'll, I'll see if I can finish quickly tomorrow. Industrial shedding. With that, thanks again for joining. I uh, hope you had a great time. Um, not sure about Monday video next week, but we'll try our best. Until then, enjoy your weekend. Keep on sketching and uh, yeah, have a great time, everybody. Bye-bye.